What is RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation? We'll try to illustrate that with the help of an animation. To begin with, we have PDF document which is broken into chunks. And after that, we pass it through embedding model to convert the chunks into embeddings. And once that is successfully done, we ingest those into vector database. In this case, it will be PG vector, but uh, there are other vector databases like Pinecone, Chroma, etc. And uh, that is phase one, right? Like, how do you get that data into your vector database from your documents? Once the data is ingested, the user can query. For example, on chat GPT, you enter a query. Once you enter a query, again, it is passed through an embedding model because uh, any user queries have to be converted into embeddings. And then the next step is it talks to vector database and uh, retrieves the relevant data and passes it to the LLM. And as a final step, the response is synthesized and given to the user. So this is the entire flow for RAG or retrieval augmented generation. And in the subsequent demo, we're going to showcase this with an example. We'll take a PDF document, break it into chunks, and then convert those into embeddings and ingest into PG vector. Once that is done, we will query and uh, see how the response is synthesized. Here uh, we are inserting the chunks into the vector database, which is busy vector in this case. This particular script which I am running here is going to break the document, the PDF document into chunks and then use the embedding model to convert into embeddings and then store in the PG vector table. So this will take some time and uh, we will let it finish and then thereafter look at the contents of the table in PG vector. Now the load is done successfully. We are in vector DB database and the table name is this one. Let us look at the definition. As you can see, it has a column called embedding which is of type vector and these are the number of dimensions. If you don't understand what dimensions are, please look at the other video we published. And we do have other columns for metadata, etc. Let us actually look at the contents. As you can see, it is a bunch of vectors as we discussed earlier. And uh, we can see how many rows it has. As you can see, there are around 2800 rows. So the first phase is done. We took the PDF document, we chunked it and passed it through embedding model and ingested into the vector database which is pg vector in this case so now the next phase is to run a user query and get a response now uh, as a next step uh, let us uh, perform user query
This is the question we are going to ask. What are different types of Postgres indexes? Remember, we already ingested chunks of Postgres manual into the vector database. So now it's going to use RAG approach. We're going to get the nearest neighbor chunks from the vector database and then give that as input to the LLM and finally synthesize the response. Let us run that. And uh, it took some time and here is the response we got. It says uh, there are several types of indexes. Then each index type uses different algorithm. So it is working. The phase two is working. Of course, this can be optimized for performance. We're going to look at that in later videos. But for now, it's working fine. Now, let us take a look at the query and how the query looks like from the DB perspective. Now, uh, when we ran that user query script, what is the actual database query that got executed in the background? So this is the query that got executed. As you can see, it is trying to fetch data from that table and it is using the cosine distance operator. So depending on your choice, you can use cosine distance or Euclidean, etc. And then uh, it's doing a lot of filtering between these vectors. It's a huge query, as you can see, it's not a small query. And uh, these are some of the queries that run in the background. So there's a lot of processing to be done, depending on the number of vectors. If you have uh, billions of vectors, imagine what is the processing involved. So you need to choose the right index, um, IVF versus H H uh, HNSW, um, use the right index and uh, make sure you optimize properly because if you have a lot of vectors uh, this is going to be intensive.